So at this uh, microbial oil process, we take uh, raw material, which is typically a lignocellulose based raw material like uh, straw or, or bagasse. And uh, in order to, to transform it into, into advanced biofuel, we first have to, have to make it into oil. And we do that with the, with the help of microbes. So first we take the straw, uh, we, we turn it into sugar, uh, soluble sugar fractions, which we feed to the microbes, uh, and the microbes in turn um, turn these sugars into oil. And the oil is, is typically suitable for our next BTL process. You're gonna need a lot of the raw material, so you need to have a diverse base or pool of raw material that you can choose from. So, for example, straw you typically have only available in, in certain uh, part of the year, so you might want to have more different sort of raw materials for, for use in, in different parts of the year. The microbes itself are, are quite uh, robust. They can take all kinds of sugars and turn these into oil, and then the final work is done in our next BTL, BTL process that turns these oils into the product. And we can tweak the, the process parameters so that we always get the same quality product. Research is everything. This is a very new process, uh, very uh, difficult and very challenging. And uh, you need m lots of R&D to get it working efficiently. I think this is uh, one of the most promising uh, routes to advanced biofuels from, from very diverse base of, of different sort of raw materials. So what we are currently seeing is that we can produce from many kinds of lignocellulosic raw materials, perfect quality oil for our process. And our process produces great quality diesel or jet fuel.